All right, all right. I did say that I was in a video making mood, so I have decided to see if I can get some footage on how to replace um, a shock absorber top mount. Um, okay, so the procedure to replace this, which is this component right here, is gonna be the same procedure to replace the actual shock absorber and also the same procedure to replace the actual um, shock absorbers coil spring like basically you're gonna need to remove the shock absorber for all three jobs so like I say um, shock absorber you remove that you know you remove the top mount then you'll take off the spring obviously you'll need to compress it before you remove the top mount compress it and make sure it's safe and secure Otherwise, that spring is under high tension with the top mount on it. And um, if you try to remove the fastener, which is usually a bolt that sits just there above that washer, yeah, that can be like a bomb that can just ping and it can go anywhere. People have lost their faces with such um, when they get it wrong, but that will never ever happen to you or me. Now I'm uh, still here. I forgot to mention what vehicle this is. Obviously, it'll be in the title, but it is um, a Vauxhall Combi. And it's a 64 plate, which I think is 2014, 2014, 2015, whatever. And um, it's a 1.6 litre CDTI. And this is what the steering wheel looks like. So, all right, cool, let's get a clip. You should know the size of... Um, your wheel nut bolts but these are 17 mil so you'll need a 17 mil socket impact socket preferably or a wheel brace you should obviously have one with the vehicle taking long so there's your shock absorber that's this component right here as you can see you've got a compressed spring which is quite strong and then just up the top there is the top mount so that's what we're going to replace as you can see it goes in through the hole um, I think that's the bulkhead I was calling it the bulkhead earlier so right now you can see that stud there can't you so that's going to be the top of the studs there should be three of them there's one and there's the second one and the third one's going to be around there somewhere so it goes in through the holes and then it bolts to the top of what I've been calling the bulkhead and obviously you want to um, detach all these suspension components the top first mount, of all. as I said it comes through that little hole there in the bulk and then you're going to meet it here just underneath um, so it's basically here you know, we're going to have to access it so this is obviously part of the video this is, it's going to be part of your requirements we're gonna move this so that's just um, a little um, little clip little attachment do you want to get that out of the way same way and there you can just see the top of your um, suspension so that's the top mount and then if you look, you can see the little three studs bolted down. So there's one, two and three. So you want to get rid of them. Do not open the nut in the middle. That nut is the one that's um, holding the top mount and um, sus sus compressing or suppressing the um, suspension coil spring. The attachment from the top mount to the body is those three small nuts which are probably going to be 13 or 12 millimeters what i will do while i'm here i'll lubricate that um the big bolt in the middle as you can see it's a bit rusted and corroded we want it to come off smoothly i may remove this a little further just to get better access access with the impact but otherwise you can access it through that little gap in the cover so i'll do that and i'll go up and i'll um I'll run you through that and I'll get started. <clears throat> some light. What's 
just let that sit in a bit of maintenance spray. Let's do its thing. That's a Phillips, so we're gonna take that off. Let's see how long it lasts. Um, let's run that out, yeah? So yeah, I lubricated those little nuts, the 13s, I think, or 12s. And yeah, you're gonna remove them, but you're not gonna remove them yet. You're gonna remove them last. So the um, suspension sprut is bolted to the top and then it's bolted to the hub. That's what keeps it in place. So you're gonna remove all of this stuff first. And while we're here, this is what you're gonna remove. Um, what will I start with? Yeah, I'll start with what I've done. I've um, wedged that little um, scuttle panel with this block. So that's keeping that suspended. So I've got more than enough space to access the top mount. On the bottom part of the top mount, as I said, you have a um, male part of the hub. I think I described it wrong. I said that the hub was um, the female part. And you can see it just slots into the groove of the shock absorber, which has got two sides. And then it's bolted with um, this bolt and nut. So you want to get the um, ABS sensor and the wires out of the way because, as you can see, they're sitting inside the shock absorber. Just gotta pluck them out of the way. Man, the spray makes everything easier. Otherwise, yeah, they're just little grooves, and it they're just grooves, and they just sit in the groove of the shock absorber. Get them out of the way. Sometimes I'd even um, pluck this one out, just because it gives the hub more room because the hub's going to basically come towards us once we release these bolts and everything else the hub's going to be sitting on its own like that so we're just going to remove these cables so there's no tension um, we're going to have to remove the drop link you've got the stabilizer bars you can see it also bolts the shock absorber you're basically taking out everything that's attached to the shock absorber because this shock absorber is coming out of the car and it's going to go over there on the bench so yeah that's it man remove the cables remove the stabilizer um, link bolt Sorry, nuts is it? And then, yeah, you've got two um, bolts and nuts. Take them out. Actually, before I take them out, I remove the drive shaft bolt. Um, these ones you're not meant to reuse, so we'll probably replace it as well. But um, yeah, remove that as well. So when you pull the hub forward, sometimes they're a bit sticky as well. Instead of it pulling the drive shaft with it, you can push the drive shaft back in and leave that in its place and that will give you enough room for the hub to come this way or so without taking the drive shaft out so you just want to take off that bolt loose it and make sure that that's free and yeah that's pretty much it so once all that's off these bolt and nuts are off that nuts off cables are free that nuts off and the shaft's free and you'll have um, the shock absorber will be free then it'll be hanging and then you just go to the top and you remove the one, two, three nuts. I think that I've spent long enough describing what's required, over-described, so I'm just gonna get it cracking now. See, so on a 36 mm socket, um, similar to this, it needs to be narrow um, in the front, otherwise it won't fit in the hole. Just take off the drive shaft bolt. I did say I weren't going to do much talking, but you want to remove the shaft bolt and then make sure it's free from the hub because sometimes they can see, so you want to make sure that it's um, loose. Yeah, and that's not what you're thinking of. That's all you need, you don't need to take it out totally. Just make sure it's free in the hub. I did want to keep this quiet, but I'm just such a describer, aren't I? All right, go on. So the 16 mil socket or 16 mil nut is on the drop link. And I think the um, two nuts that go into the um, hub are 18 mils. Now 
let's say a 19 mil and also you want to have a 19 mil spanner to put on the other side to prevent it from spinning when you're taking it out All right, I can see there's one component that I forgot to tell you to remove, although I did tell you on the Persia. It's just this, um, it's the ABS, I mean, sorry, it's the brake pipe. You see, it's um, also another rubber dongle. You want to remove that clip, just hook it out. And then, um, yeah, that just plucks out as well. It's just a rubber dongle. It's just inserted into the shock absorber. Apart from that, as you can see, the shock absorber is no longer attached to the hub. And, um, Get off. Well, it's pretty much free. Maybe even this is the one holding it in place. But other than that, yeah, it's off. And then you want to go up and remove the top three nuts. Can you see me? Excellent, you can. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to access the three um, nuts on the top. Um, on the last nut, you want to put your hand through the wheel arch and grab hold of the actual shock absorber. Because obviously, once you remove the last nut, it's going to um, actually come out. Listen, man, I can't stress how important it is for you to know that these are the nuts that you're taking off. So all together, from the top you should see four nuts. One big one in the middle, three little ones on the outside. Remove the three on the outside, don't touch the big one in the middle. Ensure you've got a strong grip of the shock absorber with your free hand before you remove the last nut. And then that's it, the shock absorber should be free. Come with me and I'm going to show you how to remove the top now. Actually, stay here. Um, there's a lot of um, spring compressing tools. I've got these spring clamps with me and they work, so I'm just going to use them. And if you're not in a garage, this is probably going to be the um, quickest access type of tool that you'll have. So you want to get as high as you can um, on the rung of the spring and obviously as low as you can on the rung of the spring. Make sure they're secure and then you're going to clamp them and then you're going to tighten it so it compresses the spring so now the pressure um, of the spring has been taken off the top mount and it'll be resting on your spring clamps once that's done you should be able to move the shock absorber freely inside the spring when you've been when you have that then you want to remove this top bolt which i think is a 21 or a 19 maybe i'll confirm shortly uh, and then it's just a quick base of um case of swapping the um, mountain well, I'm gonna show you how I um, use the spring clamps to take the spring um, to, to take the tension off the spring and um, remove the top mount I'm gonna go and um, mark where I took off this thing quickly. Yeah, there's no need. It's only going one way anyway. You should use eye protection for things like this.
All right, I'm going to put this in. One on this side here. And then obviously this, so they should squeeze the spring. I need a half inch um, extension or so to um, tighten these, or I think it's a 19 or 21 or so. No, maybe 19. No, oh, sorry, 19. You gotta be careful. A lot of people are scared of these. But you can see that the um, hooks of the clamp are well secured under the spring. It's not gonna do anything. So I'm just gonna release the tension a bit more till the spring and the top mount are free from each other. Right, um, you can see that's a lot more free now. I could do a bit more, but I think it's all right. Let's see if that comes off first time. Yeah, it's spinning. Let's do it the proper way. Rise to the occasion, look at yourself and say you're strong. No one can stop you, oh yeah. Rise to the occasion, go ahead, you know you're strong. No one can stop you. You get the idea, this is pants and it's too high that I set it up wrong for myself. But... Coming in on that. No, it's not even sitting proper. It's not the right tool neither. I'm going to do it the other way. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I went and took it off the not recommended way. Like I said, you can do it like that if you're flinging the old shock away. Because um, what I've done, I could show you actually. Yeah, I'll probably show you. So you can do it like that, which I've just used. Use like a mole grip or a multi grip, whatever they're called. Or a vice grip or something that's in. It's just black. It's adjustable, adjustable grips. And then I've just basically um, clamp that onto the actual shock absorber so when the nut's running sort of it turning the shock absorber with it because of dirt and rust and crust and stuff the um, bolt zips out like I said the other way you just put the allen key into the um, top of the top mount I mean top of the shock absorber and use a spanner I didn't really have the right spanner I didn't really have the right allen key and I couldn't be bothered so I just did it that way but um, yeah that's the result um, and that's how the top mount comes off. If you were then going to replace the spring, I'll show you. The spring is free now. I don't want to remove it because you're just going to be getting me to remove and move things unnecessarily. But if you were replacing the spring, yeah, it's off as you can see. There's nothing holding it. The only thing that holds it is the top mount and the bolt. So you pull the spring off. You'll um, release these anti-clockwise either side, slowly, like not slowly, but like one by one, slightly that side, slightly the other side, slightly the other side, slightly the other side, until they're off. And then you'll have to get the new spring and you'll, com com you'll compress it the same way that this one is, as much as you can, and then slap it back on, reverse of removal. Now, if you was getting rid of the shock absorber, you're replacing the shock absorber, you'll take off the top mount, you'll take off the spring, 
you'll take off the rubber, foam support, and you'll just put it all back into the good shock absorber. So if you want to stay in yours, Rise to the occasion, look at yourself and say you're strong. No one can stop you, oh yeah. Rise to the occasion, go ahead, you know you're strong. No one can stop you. It's for you to make the best in the life. Know that you've got the chance, get a first step towards your goal, it's alright. about life, others are still panting, yo. Some people like strong drink, cold like champagne and brandy, yo. Babies love ice cream and cake and candy, candy, yo. I love herbs and girls, fruits, 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 and fruits. Let's just go and put this back together. Um, let me show you what this looks like. So obviously the shock has gone, it's totally missing. And there's a big hole where it sits. So you're gonna feed the shock absorber right up there with one hand. And then, can you see my hand, my ratchet and stuff? You're going to be using your other hand to try and guide the nuts on. And then um, put it back together the way you took it out. Opposite to the way you took it out. Let's see. For the utmost special be your preference Still some trend and talent is your evidence And those are far off, teach those in your residence Well, yeah, yeah, girls getting sentiments Look at it with a clear content It's for you to be Best in the life Now that you've got the chance Get a first step People try so many things just to make a living. That's a praise to the king. If I leave in Thanksgiving, you need no distractions. Stay focused because it now begins. Don't it. 